very, very uh, bad for health, especially the young. And also, it's about not only picking up information from your home and delivering that information to a central source, but also uh, bringing information into your home within the human brainwave and electromagnetic uh, frequencies to speak to you uh, subconsciously and deliver you with the perceptions that they want. Let's look at this. This is um, CIA director David Petraeus in a speech he made or a talk he talked about the uh, Internet of Things. This is what he said. Uh, Items of interest will be located, identified, monitored and remotely controlled through technologies such as radio frequency identification, microchips, sensor networks, tiny embedded servers and energy harvesters, all connected to the next generation of internet uh, uh, using uh, abundant, low cost and high power computing that would transform the art of spying and allow people to be monitored and automatically, uh, automatically without planting bugs or direct infiltration. He said that this involved new technologies which added processes and web connections to previously home appliances Um, like fridges, ovens, lighting systems. Remember that for a second. This is known as the Internet of Things. Petraeus has confirmed that people would be watched through televisions. These are Orwell's uh, tele-screens. So the idea of the smart meters is to create this this energetic environment, this information environment, which is delivering information about you to the authorities and delivering information from the authorities at the subconscious level to speak to you. The smart grid is watching you. And the idea then is to connect these grids in different countries into a global grid. They talk about it in their documents. And, you know, on just the, um, uh, the health dangers alone, especially to children, uh, this is the American Academy of Environmental Medicine. The board of AAEM opposes the installation of smart meters in homes and schools based on scientific assessment of the current medical literature, which raises credible questions about genetic and cellular effects, hormonal effects, male fertility, yes, blood-brain barrier damage, and increased risk of certain types of cancers from um, RF or ELF levels similar to those emitted from smart meters. The board finds it unacceptable from a public health standpoint to implement this technology until these serious medical concerns are resolved. We consider a moratorium of installation of wireless smart meters to be an issue of the highest importance. Ignored because why? It's the agenda for Agenda 21. This lady uh, thought she'd go green. She doesn't have to quite yet, with a, with a, but they wanted to very shortly in America with these uh, green anything but uh, bulbs. Um, which are now being imposed upon us in Europe, of course, and other places around the world. And uh, she thought she'd buy some of these things, these uh, bulbs have got mercury in them. And she put one in her daughter's bedroom. And uh, it broke. So she called Home Depot and asked them what she should do. And they said, well, you better call the state authorities and they'll tell you. And they told her she had to employ this private company to come and clean up her uh, daughter's bedroom of this uh, contamination from mercury and it cost her $2,000 for one light bulb. And if you look at the British health uh, advice and regulations for these things when they break, it's do everything but evacuate your bloody home. It is ludicrous. These mercury bulbs are going to go and are going onto, um, uh, you know, open bloody uh, rubbish sites and tips and they're going to break of course they are and the, the mercury's going to get in the groundwater supplies and all that stuff um, and, and we're talking billions and billions that are used around the world um, and the other thing about this you know what that is that is a transmitter of information that's what that is and I'll, I'll tell you what I mean um, red flag when any authority doesn't say we encourage you to use these but says, no, no, you are going to use these because we're going to ban the bloody alternative. That's what they've done with these bulbs. And, because, uh, and when they do that, it's the agenda. Uh, and when it's the agenda, it is more than what seems to be the case. And it's always about human control and, and often increasingly uh, destroying human health. The woodpecker signal 
came about, I think it was in the 1970s, came to light, and it was a signal that the Soviet Union was um, broadcasting into America, and they called it the um, woodpecker signal because it was going rat-a-tat-tat, rat-a-tat-tat, like, a, like a, a woodpecker. And what it was doing,